I always wanted to have an international exposure, have international education, but that couldn't be possible during my undergrad because uh, I felt undergrad from India is really good, so I prefer to do my engineering from India. Went to Valor Institute of Technology for my bachelor's in computer science and engineering, and for masters, I had always thought I would want to go out. Canada wasn't decided, but uh, when I was in my third year, I was like, I need to start preparing now, and I have a lot of friends in Canada. Right, so I was highly influenced by the education there and the life over there. The course I want to do is really good. It's very practical over there. The opportunities after the program are also really good. So uh, I jotted down Canada, listed down some universities. You know, you know, I hired Yorkit and you know got their help. Well, my passion is really into sports and football. But if I would say a professional choice, professional career-wise choice, I always wanted to go into tech. I always wanted to go into IT, coding, programming. So uh, that, that's the job also that I'm currently doing, and my master's also has a major in software engineering. So I took sciences in my uh, 11th and 12th, right? So as an additional subject, I had taken computer science. So I did some amount of coding and programming in my tel uh, in my 11th and 12th, which got me interested. That okay, you know, this is this is a really great option, and as we can see, software is one of the most growing industries. In the world right now, so that was also a very great motivating factor. Honestly, my profile was okay. There, there, there weren't any hurdles in that. The only problem was that there was way too much influx of study permit applications in 2022, and I was worried that you know I will not get my study permit for the fall semester, and I would have to uh, defer to winter. And that's exactly what happened. So last year, people were not able to put in their applications and go to Canada because of COVID. So 2022 applicants and 2021 applicants both applied in 2022. So there was just a lot of application that was the delay. So I would say the hardest part would was the was getting the visa. Hopefully I did pass out in a time when COVID was, uh, you know, co coming down. But I I mean primarily I wanted to go in fall because it's a different experience. But well winter is also fine. My parents have been supportive since day one. They never had a problem with this. Even they knew that I've, uh, you know, since uh, the first year of my BTEC, I've been planning that I will do my masters from outside, and they have been always supported, uh, supportive, morally, emotionally, and financially. If I'm being honest, nobody has really gone outside of uh, India to study or to stay in my family. So my parents are not really aware about the formalities that take place. You know how you apply for a visa, how you apply for a university, and stuff like that. So they were, they trusted me. Uh, with the entire process, they were like, you know, you do your thing. You let us know what you want. If you need any suggestion, ask us. And uh, so they were extremely supportive. They never said no. They never brought me down or s stopped me. They were like, you want to do this? Fine, you do this. You want to go to this university? You go to this university. So like I said previously, uh, morally, emotionally, and financially, they were 100% in. So yeah, big shout out to my parents because uh, they were a major factor why I was able to get to uh, get, a, get an offer letter from my university and also get my study permit. For my BTEC, right, I went to Valor for my studies. So I was there for two years and obviously because of COVID I had to come back. But I, I guess going from uh, Mumbai to Valor and going to Canada, two very different things because they can call me back anytime if, when I was in Valor. They can call me urgently right now, I can take a flight and be there in three to four hours. But Canada, you have to really think about coming back. Uh, I'm going to call them to Canada in the summers. Canada is quite beautiful in summer. So, you know, they will get an idea of where I'm living and if I'm doing well or not. So uh, one of my cats is actually quite extrovert. He loves going out. So cats, I, I don't know if you've heard, are very indoorsy, right? But one of my cats, Muffin, uh, he loves going out. So yeah, I'm going to miss my walks with him and uh, the cuddles with them, of course. So yeah. I see myself being a project manager at an MNC, uh, working on projects that you know really reach far out and change the world. If uh, if you're going out, you start should start planning from one year back. Like if you want to uh, go outside, start planning 1.5 years back. Okay, start getting a letter of recommendation, start writing your SOB, uh, try looking for help. So, like I found your kit, so people should find help because it is very difficult to do this completely on your own. Right, have your parents on board. Uh, be ready for the fact that you're gonna be alone for a bit. That's fine. But the friends you make over there are gonna be your family. And uh, and if you're ever overthinking, if you're ever on your nerves, 
just realize that it's a very normal feeling to have if you're on your nerves when you're going out and living alone that's completely fine that is how it's supposed to be that's not abnormal so if you're feeling worried if you're overthinking it's fine that's supposed to happen you're on the right track and if you're being over cautious as well that's also fine you need to be over cautious since you're a kid you're going to be living alone and always keep good communication with your parents because your parents are, i believe are constantly thinking about you call them every day call them twice a day if, if, if at all possible i used to call my parents twice a day when i was in uh, vellore when i was doing my btech basically never forget your roots